Hello students, welcome to my channel Techno Teach. So in this video we will see that how problem can be defined as a state space search by taking an example of water jug problem. So in the previous video we have already discussed that uh, how eight puzzle problem can be solved as a state space search where state represent a specific configuration of the eight puzzle with the positions of the tiles on 3 into 3 grid and the action represents the possible moves that can be made from one state to another for example actions from the above state could be sliding the tile 1 to the right or sliding the tile 7 upwards next is transition that represents the changes in states that result from taking an action for example, if the action is to slide tile 1 to the right from the above state, then the resulting state is this. And the last one is goal state that represents the target configuration that need to be achieved. So now take another example of a water jug problem. It is also a classic puzzle in artificial intelligence that involves finding a way to measure a specific amount of water using two jugs of different capacities. So let us take a detailed look at the problem and uh, how it can be solved. So this is a problem description. Suppose we are given a two jugs, jug A and jug B with the capacities of M liters and uh, N liters respectively where M and N are positive integers and uh, we also have uh, access to an unlimited supply of water. So the goal is to measure a specific amount of water that is usually denoted as D liters using only these two jugs and a set of allowed operations which typically include filling a jug so we can fill one of the jugs to its maximum capacity from the water supply. Next is emptying a jug. We can empty the contents of one of the jugs onto the ground or into a drain. And the last one is a pouring of water between the jugs so we can transfer a water from one jug to another either until the target jug is full or the source jug is empty. So the main task is to find a sequence of these operations that will result in exactly d liters of water in one of the jugs or determine if it is not possible to measure d liters using the given jugs and operations. So the solution is, uh, uh, let us take an example to illustrate the water jug problem. Suppose we are given jug A with a capacity of 4 liters and uh, jug B with a capacity of 3 liters. So we need to measure 2 liters of water in jug A, not jug B. So initially both jugs are empty like in this case jug A 0, 4 liters and jug B 0, 3 liters. So both jugs are empty. And in the next step, we can perform a series of allowed operations to measure a 2 liters of water. So here is one possible solution. Like in second step, fill jug A with the water from the supply which is of a 4 liters. And uh, in a third step, pour the water from jug A into jug B. In a fourth step, empty the contents of jug B and then in a fifth step, pour the water from jug A into jug B again and then sixth, fill jug A again with the water from the supply and in the last step, pour the water from jug A into jug B until jug B is full. So at this point, we have exactly 2 liters of water in jug A which is the desired amount we need to measure. So the water jug problem can be represented as a state space search where each state represents a specific configuration of the water levels in the jugs and each action represents one of the allowed operations. And a search algorithm can be used to systematically explore the state space to find a solution if one exists by generating actions, transitions and the resulting states. So the state space in this problem consists of all possible combinations of water levels in jug A and jug B 
ranging from zero liters to their respective capacities. And each action is an operation that can be performed on the jug, such as filling, emptying, or pouring a water between them. The search algorithm, such as the DFS, that is the depth for search, and the BFS, that is the breadth for search, or A star search, can also be used to generate a potential actions, transitions, and resulting states. So thank you students.